William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was born on 23rd, 1564 in Stratford upon Avon. William Shakespeare passed away in 1616. The son of John Shakespeare and Mary Arden, he was probably educated at the King Edward VI Grammar School in Stratford, where he learned Latin and a little Greek and read the Roman dramatis. At 18, he married Anne Hathaway, a woman seven or eight years his senior. Together, they raised two daughters, Susanna, who was born in 1583, and Judith, born in 1585. He had a son who passed away when he was still a boy. Little is known about William Shakespeare's life between 1585 and 1592. Robert Greene's A Groat's Worth of Wit alludes to him as an actor and playwright. Shakespeare may have taught at school during this period, but it seems more probable that shortly after 1585, he went to London to begin his apprenticeship as an actor. Due to the plague, the London theatres were often closed between June 1592 and April 1594. During that period, Shakespeare probably had some income from his patron, Henry Briotus Lee, Earl of Southampton, to whom he dedicated the first two poems, Venus and Adonis, in 1593, Rape of Lucrecy, 1594. The former was a long narrative poem depicting the rejection of Venus by Adonis, Adonis' death and the consequent disappearance of beauty from the world. Despite conservative rejections to the poem's glorification of sensuality, it was immensely popular and was reprinted six times during the nine years following its publication. In 1594, Shakespeare joined the London Chamberlain's Company of Actors the most popular of the company acting at court. In 1599, Shakespeare joined a group of Chamberlain's men that would form a syndicate to build and operate a new playhouse, the Globes, which became the famous theatre of its time. With his share of the income from the Globe, Shakespeare was able to purchase new plays, his own in Stratford. While Shakespeare was regarded as the foremost Dramatist of his time, evidence indicates that both and his contemporaries looked to poetry, not playwriting, for enduring fame. Shakespeare's sonnets were composed between 1593 and 1601, though not published until 1609. That edition, the sonnets of Shakespeare, consists of 154 sonnets, all written in the form of three quatrains and a couplet that is now recognized as Shakespearean. The sonnets fall into two groups. The sonnets fall into two groups. Sonnets one to one to six, addressed to a beloved friend, a handsome and noble young man, and sonnets one to seven, to one five two, to a malignant but fascinating dark lady, who the poet loves in spite of himself. Nearly all of Shakespeare's sonnets examine the inevitable decay of time and the immortalization of beauty and love in poetry. In his poems and plays, Shakespeare invented thousands of words, thousands of words, often combining or contorting Latin, French, and native roots. His impressive expansion of the English language, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, includes such words as arch villain, birthplace, blood sucking, courtship, dewdrop, downstairs, fanged, heart sore. Hunchback, Leapfrog, Miscode, Pageantry, Radiance, Schoolboy, Stillborn, Washdog, and Zanny. Shakespeare wrote more than 30 plays, 3-0. These are usually divided into four categories, histories, comedies, tragedies, and romances. His earliest plays were primarily com comedies, 
His earliest plays were primarily comedies and histories such as Henry VI and the Comedy of Errors. But in 1596, Shakespeare wrote Romeo and Juliet, his second tragedy, and over the next dozen years, he would return to the form of tragedy, writing the plays for which he is now best known, Julius Caesar, Hamlet, Othello, King Lear, Macbeth, and Anthony and Cleopatra. In his final years, Shakespeare to in his final years, Shakespeare turned to the romantic with Cymbeline, A Winter's Tale, and The Tempest. Only 18 of Shakespeare's plays were published separately in quarter editions during his lifetime. During his lifetime, a complete collection of his works did not appear until the publication of the first folio in 1623 several years after his death. Nonetheless, his contemporaries recognized Shakespeare's achievements. Francis Murray cited Honeytongue Shakespeare for his plays and poems in 1598, and the Chamberlain's men rose to become the leading dramatic company in London, installed as members of the royal household in 1603. Sometime after 1612, Shakespeare retired from the stage and returned to his home in Stratford. He drew up his will in January 1616, which included the famous bequest to his wife of his second best pay. He died on April 23, 1616, and was buried two days later at Stratford Church. With that, I end my session today. This is Distinguished Toastmaster Brahma Kumar. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to my video channel. I shall be back again tomorrow.